Anyway, let's um let's play another game. A random challenge. <sighs> Something about biceps, but misspelled. Oh, this is rated. Let's play a London. What does rating a YouTube channel even mean? It's like when you like when you end a Twitch stream and then you just send all your viewers to a YouTube channel. It doesn't quite work like that though. Okay, London time. I'll see if my opponent wants to go down any of these lines I just showed. Oh, thanks for the comment. One hot Scotty. Ooh, C C five's already a sign that maybe they're I guess they could go for either line. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> It's not. I have to reveal my preparation. What to do against this? But do they do they remember the move order? Oh, e six. So e six, I don't think is. Um... Is a great move here, because it blocks in the bishop, and there, there's all these lines where the bishop should develop. Before e6. And I know bishop d6 is coming. There's an idea. Don't know if it actually works though. No, let's, let's just play normally. Actually. I shouldn't be thinking here. Let's play c3. No, let's play knight f3. It's weird, like I, I don't think I've ever had this position after e6 on move four. So opponent confused me in some, some regard. Ah, oh, this could actually transpose though. If if knight c6 c3 okay never mind, we could have transposed into something. Uh, we'll play bishop g3. Oh das auto setting, setting their b chess name. Hmm. I played das auto. I think the previous stream, if I remember correctly. Mm. I challenge you in deep Trojan. Let's play the London G five line. I will play black. I'm I'm just kind of scared of that line. It's such a cool line, though. Thanks for yeah. Thanks for bringing up the question. I feel like I need to do preparation before I. Like I need to learn how to swim before I throw myself into the deep end and drown. I, I'd probably learn how to tread water. I don't know. Do you still plan on making video about two nights attack? Oh, yeah, maybe. So I get that question all the time. <laughs> I've held off. Um, I don't know why. It, it takes a lot more energy actually to like record specific like analysis videos for YouTube than just to live stream. Um, but maybe I'll, I'll I'll do a two nights attack video when I hit a hundred thousand subscribers. I get that question all the time though, because my most, I think my most viewed YouTube video, I mentioned, I mentioned something about like making a video about the two nights attack, <laughs> and I never got around to it. But it's still fun to play on stream occasionally. Okay, this is, this is a very nice London setup. We're black. 
black can no longer achieve knight e4 because I have too many pieces controlling e4. And I was actually a little bit expecting bishop a6 here, which may have been like a better decision positionally because now this bishop is, is very nice and this bishop is um, yeah, not, not such a great piece. I'm getting kind of a classic, um, what do we call this? Uh, I think they call this a Pillsbury attack. Or basically, Pillsbury attack is, is this setup with f4, and lots of fun things happen. Yeah, sorry again if I'm missing comments. How do I change my color to white? I don't know what that means. I really don't know what that means, <laughs> piggy bank. Uh, I think you can you are able to change the color of your username on Twitch, but I don't know if that's what you're referring to. This opening, it's called London, but this specific, I learned this from uh, from Kostya Kowitski. We had played some tournament together in Romania and he was um, explaining. So I played a game where I, I use this kind of this strategy. I didn't know it was called the Pillsbury attack. So there's a few ideas. F5 is a resource, Bishop H4. Mm. I like f5. Just trying to damage this this pawn chain. Wait, did I miss did I miss bishop? Oh man. Oh that's so bad. I missed this simple tactic. I've shown this so many so many times. And now I have it again. Uh but it's not ethical. Because I, someone told me in the chat, <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm banned from playing this move. I mean, this should still be a good position. I think on d7. Oh, let's just take here. Box is gonna have weaknesses. Yeah, and this should. The wind material. Knight g6, takes g3. Oh, then I take on e6, inter meso. Okay. Yeah, this is nice. I found a different way to win a pawn. Queen h5. Queen h5 would be. In, it would be a Botez Gambit. Now is not the time to Gambit. Ooh. Oh, Black's in big trouble. Because the bishop is on d3. It's going to be some windmill. Discover check. Opponent's trying to, probably trying to take my knight illegally. Maybe. But yeah, like king h8, and then knight g6 back, and then here, and, and I mean, my knight can't really take any more things. Oh, but maybe there's some nice mate. I don't know if I smother made in the end. Maybe I do. Oh, that's so funny. Don't resign, opponent. Play it out. I think it's forced mate. And like there's two there's two of, of these windmill ideas. So the line just to show is king h8, uh knight g6, king h7, knight e5, king h8, uh knight f7. Uh, king g8. I take the queen. King has to go back here. And I return to f7. Uh, king goes back to g8. And I takes h6. King h8. And then queen g8. And whatever it takes, then knight f7 is basically smothering mate because my bishop controls h7. That's so beautiful. 
it's going to happen too. Unless it doesn't happen because black has three legal moves in this position. But do do this for the fans. Do this for the YouTube people. Do it, do it. No! Can I still make it work? Maybe I can? I don't know. Mm. Mm, I'm so disappointed now. I wanted to like beautiful smother mate. And now um, my dreams are broken. I mean, this is still working. Oh, maybe my other knight comes in. It might still work. I mean, okay, Black's going to have a lot of options here, but and this is probably not the best way to play. I, I just wanted a YouTube video called, like, Windmill Smother Mate. Okay, I think it works here. I think it works, because this is double check. Let's draw arrows. Um, the, the Windmill Smother Mate. So Knight G5, King H8, Knight here, the King has to go here. There's all these discovered checks. King goes back. And I check. King has to go back here. Then check. This is all forcing. And then king here. And queen g8 here and then mate. I don't know if there's a simpler approach, but this is um, this should be good enough. Uh, check. My, my, uh, my thing just died, but that's okay. Check. Yeah, the windmill continues. King F8's illegal because a rook. Don't resign. Don't resign. Yeah. Queen here coming. Oh, it's so beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> the windmill smothered mate. It's uh, some some people will probably like argue it's not smothered mate because there's no pawn, but it's close enough. I'm sure, I mean, at like at that point of arrow drawing, there were probably a lot of wins, but it's nice to finish a game like that. Okay, you two people, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're inspired. And subscribe. And I'll see you in the future. And Twitch chat. Twitch chat is actually saying hi to you too. Look at the Twitch chat. Look. Look, say hi back.